Hello wrestlers, coaches, and fans. I'm Coach Fiorito, and this is Wrestling Mastery, where I break down mastery level technique performed by the best in the world. Here's my inaugural video. My intention behind Wrestling Mastery is in one sense educational and in another inspirational. I hope to inspire all wrestlers and coaches to sharpen the tools by showing how not all technique is so cut and dry. It's about finding the variation that not only works for you, but works for you consistently. And I find that there's no better way to start and show this than with Rei Higuchi of Japan and his arm drag. For most of us, Rei Higuchi burst onto the scene during the 2016 Olympics when he ran through a gauntlet just to reach the finals by tech falling two-time world champion Yang of North Korea in the opening round by beating the eventual 2018 world champion Yao's Mane Rodriguez of Cuba in the quarters also running through 2013 world champion Hassan Rahimi of Iran in the semis but ultimately losing a controversial match on criteria in the finals to the 2015 world champion Vladimir Kinki Gashvili of Georgia in 2018 Rei Higuchi was the U23 world champion at 65 kilograms at last year's Emperor's Cup, he tech falled 2018 world champion Otto Girl at 65 kilograms. He since dropped down to 57 kilograms for the Japan Championships and earned a close victory over Yuki Takahashi, the 2017 world champion who beat Thomas Gilman. I think one more win and you'll see him represent Japan at Tokyo. Rei Higuchi is a very technically sound wrestler and has the ability to attack both sides. Being one direction, he'll hit you with an arm drag, which opens up a swing single on the other side. He has one of the most unique arm drags I've ever seen and it's his subtle variations that make it work for him. We'll be going over what ties he fights into to hit the drag from and the key aspects of performing the move. Lastly, the different finishes he stems from the drag. Of course, if you've ever seen Rei Higuchi wrestle, you'd be pretty upset if I didn't cover his swing single as well. I won't leave you disappointed. Just a quick shout out to my Dundee Highlanders and let's get into the technique. To illustrate the uniqueness of Rei Higuchi's arm drag, we're going to start off with an expertly done traditional arm drag. Here is Abasgatsi Magomedov versus Thomas Gilman, and in the opening sequence, we have hard hand fighting, and Magomedov is going to peel off the collar tie and get a two on one at the wrist. To open up any offense, Gilman is going to have to clear this wrist control, but what he really did was take Magomedov's bait. What's hard to see here in the still frame is Magomedov has his head posted with forward pressure into Gilman. He's going to relieve that pressure with a back step, causing Gilman to step forward with momentum. And at the same time, he's going to extend Gilman's arm by pulling away the baited wrist, all while reaching in for the drag. To effectively finish, he's going to redirect the momentum he created with heavy hip rotation from a hard pivot on his right foot. What we can't see yet is he's pinned his ear to the top of the shoulder and keeping the drag arm tight, creating a pivot point he'll use to chase backside and reach for the lower lat, and then running him down and securing the takedown. One more time from the top, he's going to relieve pressure, forcing a step. Drag and redirect the momentum, chase back side, reach him for the lat, and run him down for the takedown. These next two sequences are to show how varied the finish can be. Magomedov is going to take a back step while snapping the posted arm through to his drag arm. Redirect the momentum, chase back side to the lower lat, and by keeping the drag arm tight to the body, he's literally going to swing himself all the way around to the back side. One more time from the top, he's swinging himself from the pivot point he created by pinning his ear to the shoulder, keeping that drag arm tight to the body. Last sequence here, this setup should look familiar, he's going to peel off the collar tie to a 2 on 1 at the wrist, set the bait, back step, extend the arm, redirect the drag through, stay tight for as clean of a finish as it gets. And let's take a look one last time to appreciate this perfectly executed arm drag. Alright, so let's get into Rei Higuchi's arm drag and show you his variations. Opening sequence against two-time world champion Yang of North Korea. You'll notice Higuchi is going to bait Yang into grabbing his hand with an open one. Hard to see here, but Higuchi has a post at the shoulder with his left arm. And three things are going to happen at the same time. He's going to relieve pressure from the post, extend Yang's arm by pulling back his tied hand, and instead of a backward step, Higuchi takes an outside step, all while reaching for the drag. He'll redirect the momentum down and then through, pivoting hard on that planted outside step. Instead of ear to the shoulder, the pivot point he creates is placing his inside shoulder on top of Yang's shoulder and rotates backside around this point. He chases the leg and doesn't let go of the drag arm that's tight to the body until the leg is secured. And keeping the leg secured, he reaches for the far hip for a crackback finish. 
One more time at half speed, Higuchi sets the bait, releases the post, outside step drag, covers the shoulder, chases backside, crack back finish. Last time at full speed, don't blink. Next sequence we'll see the drag from a more offensive tie and a variation in finish. Higuchi hand fights into an inside tie, V blocking with a straight arm post. He's also gripping the arm hard with his four fingers, and I'll show you why that's important. He elevates the tie, and by pulling down at the grip tricep, his opponent's arm is going to fall through, creating downward momentum. At the same time, to redirect that momentum, he's throwing in the drag. Notice how deep he's throwing his arm in there. It's essentially a cross-body underhook. Remember, three things are happening at once here. Releasing pressure to create momentum, drag to redirect, and the outside step to get the preferred angle. Here's that varied finish. Higuchi crow hops to the outside and grabs the arm with two hands. He'll use his right arm to pass the arm to the inside and use the drag arm to pin his shoulder to create the pivot point and chase the leg backside and run him down for the takedown. From the top, fight for tie, elevate pull through drag, extend and pass arm, chase the leg, run him down for the takedown. And last time at full speed. Next sequence against Olympic bronze medalist, 2013 world champion, Hassan Rahimi of Iran. After an exchange, Rahimi is going to post at the head, Higuchi is going to counter with an overtie at the wrist. Watch closely here, as Rahimi goes to post at the shoulder with his right arm, Higuchi is going to snap the overtie down with a hard outside step and redirect the created momentum with a drag. Kuro hops to the outside, securing two hands on the arm. Pass it to the inside with the right arm, pin the shoulder with the drag arm, and chase the leg. A little harder fought finish here. In the crack pack position, Higuchi goes elbow deep and elevates, throwing in his knee and using it to ramp the leg and shelf it to the outside hip, securing the arm and pressuring in for the exposure. Again from the top, counter tie, slips the post, outside step drag, pin shoulder, chase leg, crack pack position, shelf the leg, secure arm, drive in for the finish. Last sequence, Olympic Finals versus Kinky Gashvili of Georgia. Kinky Gashvili has a post of the shoulder, Higuchi snaps it off with an outside step drag, pins the shoulder, chases the leg, crack back position, shelves the leg, wraps up both legs, exposure and freestyle. In folk, you'd want to continue and climb the body. One more time at full speed. Ray Higuchi's arm drag is so effective because he has a great complementary attack to the other side. Don't take my word for it. How about his? So you want to watch, you want to watch the best swing single in the world? Higuchi. Higuchi from Japan. He finished with the silver medal. Could have won the gold as easy when you watch the final match. I thought maybe it was a poor call. greatest in the world. Never seen somebody as smooth ever in my entire life as that guy hit the swing single. Hit it against everyone. Everyone. There you go folks and that's why this is a two-part breakdown. I had to cover his swing single. Again, Ray Gucci's arm drag and swing single are that more effective because they complement each other. At the end of this video I'll show you how he uses them in a series together but for now let's get into the swing single. Opening sequence here, camera's not centered yet on this one. His opponent has cross wrist control, and Aguchi has a post at the shoulder. From the post, a classic head tap, level change, and fires off the shot. Few key things to notice here. One, he's fully extended on his right leg to get as much penetration as possible. Two, he's throwing a heavy left hook to the leg. And lastly, he takes the controlled wrist with him, aiming his inside ear near the bicep. Using the momentum of the penetration, hook on the leg, and head position, he'll swing and pivot on the left knee once it hits the ground. This finish is brilliant, and another reason I love breaking down high-level technique. By taking the arm with him and trapping it between the neck and his opponent's leg, his opponent can't defend with a wizard. Not only that, his opponent's natural reaction to defending a single is to throw his hip in, allowing Higuchi to extend the arm and short drag out for the finish. Wrestling Mastery Let's take another look at that finish. Next sequence versus Rahimi of Iran. 
Some hand fighting, Rahimi secures cross wrist control, classic setup, Higuchi head taps and freezes him here. Level change in penetration, you can see here how the hook on the leg and head position help swing Higuchi's momentum from the penetration around, pivoting on the left knee. Taking the controlled wrist with him traps the arm, once Rahimi naturally reacts by throwing in a hip to defend the single, Higuchi short drags out and counters a scramble with exposure. Same sequence, different angle here, Rahimi with cross wrist control, Higuchi head tap, level change, penetration using the left hook and head position to swing himself around on the left knee. Taking the cross wrist with him, traps the arm. Rahimi defends the single, throwing his hips in. Gucci short drags out and counters a potential scramble with exposure. Next sequence, same finish, just a little harder fought here. Wrist is controlled, head tab level change penetration. You can really see how the hook on the leg and head position are used to swing around. Extends arm to drag out, but his opponent recovers. Higuchi just goes backside on the leg, walks out to stay backside, maintains good position to score. Now we'll get into how his drag is a complementary attack to his swing single. Bonnie Rodriguez of Cuba ties up Higuchi's hand, watch closely, fake drag, freezes Bonnie, level change, penetration, fully extended on the right foot for as much momentum as possible, using the left hook and head position to swing around on the left knee. From backside, Higuchi is going to go elbow deep and shelf Bonnie's ankle on the inside hip. Pressure in and elevate to standing, maintaining elbow deep arm position on the leg. Bonnie is going to fight in and try to break the grip. Watch how committed Higuchi is to this finish. He's going to sacrifice the grip by elevating his hand, but at the same time lower his level. Bonnie bites, and Higuchi is in great position to run through him with a bar scar finish. Blocking the far knee as Higuchi runs him down, he elevates the inside leg and continues for the finish. Another angle to the finish, as he knee blocks the outside knee, he elevates the inside leg and runs him down for the takedown. This wraps up my first video. Again, I'm Coach Fiorito. If you've enjoyed this breakdown, please subscribe. Us wrestlers have to stick together. I'll be releasing much more content as it comes along. I'd appreciate any feedback in the comment section. If you'd like to support my channel through Patreon, there's a link in the description below. Special thanks in advance to my brothers, Josh and Adrian, Coach Stiggs, and my buddy P. Miller for reviewing my work. We'll see you next time on Wrestling Mastery.